traveling to Italy very soon for work and vacation, and I thought I would share some of my summer vacation essentials that I'll be packing. I'm gonna keep them very general because I think everybody's essentials look different. What is essential for me might not be essential for you in the hopes that you either have something already in your closet or it'll give you an idea of those pieces that can create the foundation for a travel capsule. I'll cover my entire travel capsule in a separate video once I land and once I'm like actually wearing all the outfits. But for now, hopefully you enjoy this list of essentials. A big thank you to Cezanne for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna be sharing some of my loves from Cezanne that I will be bringing with me most likely to Italy this summer. You'll see a lot of pieces that I've already used and acquired through my previous collaborations with them, but I've added one new piece which I do really like and I think which will be perfect for this trip. Everything that I mention will be linked in the description box below. Cezanne is a wonderful French brand. I love the aesthetic. It's a really great balance of playful and chill and this allows me to really use and play with my own three style words which are classic, minimal and undone, but it allows me to inject that bombshell factor which I really like to add and play with over the summer months. The construction is always really, really on point. Like the hand feel of the garments that I've acquired so far and that I've been wearing over the past several months now is really impressive. And for me, I've said this before, longevity is key. Knowing the clothing will last for years and years from a construction and style perspective, this to me is paramount. As with all of my sponsored content, I really hope that the pieces you are seeing resonate with you or that this introduces you to some new ideas. Not necessarily that you have to shop, but just gives you some ideas on how to style the pieces that you already have or create perhaps a thoughtful shopping list going forward. So let's jump on into these pieces. I feel like I don't even need to talk about these ones. I mean, it's so obvious. Linen button ups. I don't know what I would do without these. Button ups in particular. I'll also be bringing some cotton button ups and I especially like the long sleeves because I get a little bit of extra sun protection. I can roll up the sleeves and they feel a little bit more evening appropriate as well as working for day. Also, the long sleeve looks fantastic as a beach cover up if needed. So I just find like a classic button up is the most versatile in terms of essential. So for you, this might not be a button up. Maybe it's like a tunic or maybe it's like something that has a completely different silhouette. For me, a very classic boxy button up without any darts, without too, too much tailoring works really, really well. The next item on my list was a bit of a surprise to me, but I remember when I was traveling, I wore this super lightweight V-neck so often. It's so elegant, it's so easy, but what I like about it is that it's very simple and it's got some really like easy details that also makes it good for day, but also for night. So I've got this one in white and you've seen this one before in my last collaboration with Cezanne I found this beautiful linen tee it's called the Milo and it's got these fantastic buttons down the front a little scoop neck and it's a linen cotton blend so it keeps me nice and cool I also like that it's got a little bit of a short sleeve I like to have a short sleeve option as well again if you're traveling if you're doing a little bit of touring I actually don't plan on you know like visiting any monuments or anything I literally just need to nap and eat a lot of gelato. But I do think if you are planning on going to sea sites, having something that covers your shoulders but that is still like in a nice cool fabric can be really important. I have loved so far styling this actually with a pair of trousers and less shorts. I don't know why, like shorts and a t-shirt just feels very, like it falls flat to me as an outfit combination unless you've got like a really fantastic shoe. So I prefer to wear t-shirts when traveling with like a long trouser of some sort. I think it's a little little bit more elegant. I think it elevates the t-shirt just a little bit. My next essential, and this one is pretty obvious also, just simple tank tops. I'll probably bring maybe two or three of these. I'll let you know in the travel capsule how many I end up with. <laughs> My one new addition from Cezanne. I've been looking for a tank top that has a little bit of like that interesting more sport neckline. I have another one very similar, but it's not striped. So I thought I'll get a little bit of like interest, a really classic print that works beautifully for summer. I also love the way things like a stripe look against like beach scenes. I know it's really weird, but I tend to 
think of my environment and think of how my outfit will look in the environment. So I like the kind of racer back detail. This is also ribbed. It's a cotton and it's got a little bit of a last stain. This is a small on me and I typically do wear a small, sometimes even a medium up top to accommodate my bust, but I love how this fits. Next up is a shirt dress and I did not travel with a shirt dress last year. And I remember several times being like, man, I wish I had a shirt dress. So I have this one here. This was actually my mother's. It's super light. It's like a crepe material, but it's got a really great boxy fit off the body. But what I like about it is that if I do belt it, it has that little blouson effect. And I think it just looks fantastic day and night with a simple sandal. It looks really chic. I mean, shirt dresses are just like the easiest gosh and i think they're just so fantastic also a really good beach cover-up you know can't go wrong here's another new one for me a silk dress Something a little bit flowy, but this silk is actually vintage silk. I found this in Leche and I wore this so, so much in the heat. The silk is so light. It's like, I know sometimes silk can be too hot in the summer, I get it. So I would definitely recommend some sort of like very light, off the body, flowy silk dress if you're a dress person. If not, maybe separates are for you, like a silk little cami and a silk skirt. If silk isn't for you, you can always look for something that is like a tencel, that kind of fabric, which has a lot of similar properties to silk. The tailored shorts. These are also from Cezanne. These are the Rome shorts. They have a couple of different colorways for these. And if you are a shorts person, I would highly recommend them. This is what I love about these is that they'll elevate something as simple as a little tank. They look fantastic with the linen button ups. I mean, I think these are so good. Another like really good day to night. But what I especially like is the silhouette. It's got a nice high waist. These are so roomy around the thighs. My thighs in particular are like the heftiest part of my body. And I like having a little bit more breathing room around them. So especially when it's hot, I've got that nice breathing room. The material is like a thicker canvas, but because it's got that off the body silhouette, they're really nice and airy. They're just so, so chic. And I've often swapped out the belt with my own belt. So that gives them even more versatility. Yes, my friends, trousers on a vacation. How awesome does that sound? The ones that I will most likely be bringing are these amazing. They're just a great wide leg, super off the body fit, but I also love like a really good, easy chino. So it totally depends on the climate you're going to, your own personal style, whether you're feeling the more like sport prep or the more like Euro glam, it's gonna completely depend on you as well as the silhouette. Like maybe you want something that's more like a little carrot leg silhouette, but I just love these wide leg. They're fantastic for like plane ride. They look chic, but they're nice and roomy and cozy and comfy, just so easy. And speaking of Cezanne, we're gonna hop on over to accessories. This was another thing that I was like, man, I wish I had one of these last year. Any bag with a little bit of like a basket or crochet detail. I think in the summer, especially when you're vacationing, I mean, it could be a big tote bag too. Cezanne has a lot of really beautiful like basket tote bags that are perfect for the beach, perfect for like easy day wandering, you know, like, oh, so good. I just love the texture of this bag. I think it's like the epitome of summer. And if you're like me and a lot of your travel essentials are, you know, like these like tailored, polished looking pieces. I think anything with that straw detail will give you that more like relaxed summer, easy vacation vibe. Another way you could inject that texture is by way of a hat. I am definitely more of a ball cap person, <laughs> but I do have this guy here, which I probably will pack with me. Panama hat, straw hat, whatever. This is another really fun way to inject that easy sort of summer vibe. And it also provides really good sun protection. And it also just makes your look feel like a little bit more styled without trying too hard. You know what I mean? Hats always feel like they're making things a little bit more dressed. Obviously, I don't even know why I put this on the list. It's like such an obvious thing. Swimsuit. I'm actually gonna bring, I think, four bathing suits. They're tiny. They can like scrunch up into a little ball and not take up a lot of space. I only had one bathing suit with me last year. I ended up purchasing one. I love swapping my bathing suit out so that I'm not sitting around in a wet bathing suit all day at the beach, but also, I just, 
I spent so much time at the beach last summer that I realized I needed a few on rotation. Knowing the kind of vacation that I'd like to have, I don't think four bathing suits is gonna be too excessive. And last but not least, leather sandals. I am not normally a sandal person in general, but I have recently discovered some fantastic leather sandals which managed to look pretty chic they're easy to walk in. I think the combination of leather, which is a pretty luxurious and rich looking texture balanced with a pretty casual sandal silhouette is a really nice combination. It's just a good marriage of style and function. I always look for like maybe a little bit of heel. I don't like sandals that are too flat. So finding something with a little bit of support is really important, but having a leather sandal in general, whatever that looks like for you style wise, I think is a good option to have when traveling. So that is what I have for you today. Merci beaucoup Cézanne pour être la commanditaire de ce vidéo. All of the items that I mentioned from Cézanne will be linked in the description box below. Thank you so so much for watching. I am taking a vacation. By the time you watch this video, I will be taking a couple of weeks off. So there won't be videos for the next two weeks, but you can find me on the Sustain This podcast with the amazing Sina Henson from Use Less and Christina Mijas from Minimalist-ish. We post our podcasts every Tuesday in the morning and we talk a lot about like, we dive really deep into the topics that we talk about here on the channel. So do check that out. You can also find me on the gram as I am doing whatever I'm doing in Italy. Probably it's gonna be a lot of like boring beach and gelato content but I mean, you know, that's just life. That's vacation life. Or I might not post at all. Life is a mystery. We will see. But I hope you're having a wonderful day, a wonderful week. I will see you in two weeks. I'll miss you, but I'll see you in the next slow fashion video. Ciao, buon vacanze. <laughs>